You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures team. Desperate on the phone, any news? You see, the unfolding drama of your father's disappearance is taking a turn I don't understand anymore. Did you just say drama? Yes. That is the only way I can explain a situation whereby we are all looking for your father and all of a sudden it is being insinuated that someone or one of his sons is holding him hostage. And who could be holding him hostage? I don't know. That is the question I need an answer to. Uncle, where did you get this from? Look, I already have a question that needs answers. I don't need anyone to add to it. We must get to the bottom of this matter. And if need be, we must all swear. And you want to believe this? I don't have a choice. Do I? now. Eh? If not, I will never get tired of looking for my husband. Mom, you've done enough searching for today. Besides, it's too late for you to go out. How can you just disappear into thin air? Eh? Look, take it easy on yourself. No one will stop you from searching for father. But you should understand that the police are doing their best to find him. The police are not doing well enough. How can my husband just disappear like that? Mom, eh? This is very, very strange. Mom, take it easy. Take it easy. Let's just go back. Hi. Come in, come in, Mom. please. You know, I was shocked when she told me she knows your father. I wouldn't have believed it because it was the boy your father has outside. What? <laughs> I really wonder why everything is happening at the same time. I mean, you never have enough time to think of one issue, yet another happens. You mean the woman is actually your aunt? Yes, she's my mother's younger sister. I think it's time I met her. You just have to take me to her. I mean, it's so, it's so wrong. I mean, why? Oh, you guys are still here? <clears throat> Jesse, you don't look okay. Gosh, you know I had this bad, bad nightmare. Oh, sorry. It's alright. It's okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Madam, it was revealed to me by the Holy Spirit that your husband is still alive, but is held hostage by one of his sons. Ah. 
Pastor. Pastor, it's not possible. Madam, the words I speak are not mine, but with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. You have a choice. You have a choice. But you have to believe the fact that we have nothing to gain by holding our father hostage. Speak for yourself, you woman. Speak for yourself. Well, I don't think Oscar will do anything like that. Look, between you and Oscar, I don't know. But one thing I know is that I am going to the village to make arrangement for the two of you to come and swear to not having anything to do with your father's disappearance. That is totally unacceptable. It's unacceptable, uncle. The police force is doing its best to see that it traces our father. And you're here telling me that one man of God said the truth lies between Oscar and I. Well, if the man knows where our father is, let him tell us and we'll rescue him. And the police force will appreciate his efforts. Look, Philip, I am going to the village. Whether you like it or not, when they invite you, don't come. I have searched within the minds of Philip and Oscar. And I'm yet to find a single motive for either of them to hold their own father to ransom for days now. I am I, I am lost. I don't I don't know. Jesse. Could it be your father's illegitimate son? Mom, I, I don't know. I don't even know if this boy knows that dad is his own father. I don't even know if he's old enough to pull off such a crime. I have no idea of anything. Philip has to know about this so that he can investigate him. What do you think? Did you tell him about what the pastor said? I don't know how to tell them, but I've told your uncle. You told Uncle Emma already? But I'm left with no choice. <laughs> I am sure that by now, Philip and Oscar would have had everything, and Mommy, trust me, it's not going to go down well with either of them. <sighs> Ebuka did not come back yesterday. This is like opening an old wound that has been left to heal. Sometimes wounds that heal inappropriately need to be opened, cleaned, and allowed to heal the way it should. Auntie, the fact is that nobody knows about Ebuka's existence until of late. And it has been causing a lot of trouble in the house. Please, Auntie, make everybody understand what actually happened. Yes, we would really like to know. I worked for your father. I don't know how it happened, but he suddenly developed interest in me. I was foolish enough to go into a relationship with a married man. It dawned on me when I got pregnant. When your mother became pregnant for me, I realized that things were not going to be as easy as I had thought. So, I took the easy way out. Easy way out, which was? I asked her to abort the pregnancy, but she refused. She said if I didn't want it, she would keep it. When he couldn't get me to abort the pregnancy, he sacked me from the company. I later went back to him to ask for help, but he wouldn't listen to me. I began to see her as an opportunist. 
I thought she was trying to use the pregnancy to trap me into marrying a second wife. So I resisted her with everything I got. I sent her away. You know, and I told her that the only way I could help her was if she aborted. But she refused and stuck to her guns. My father demanded I told him who is responsible for my pregnancy. But I couldn't. I knew that what my father had in mind was going to destroy your family. With that, my father sent me out of his house. And I went and lived with her very mother. She took very good care of me until I put to bed. And I named him Chukwe Buka. He became everything to me. I didn't see her again until you were 13. I had gone to the general hospital to see someone when I met your mother there. She told me you had become very stubborn and always fighting. So I gave her some money and asked her to take care of you. You asked her to take care of me. So why didn't you take care of us both? Well, I thought I had what I regarded as a, a perfect family and a perfect life. I had become a public figure and I didn't want anything to shift that balance. I took care of my only son without expecting help or pity from anybody. I know that it is cross I had to bear, so I did it with pride. Ebuke grew up into a man and wants to know his father. I had my fears, but I couldn't tell him who his father is. What fears are you talking about? He was angry at his father and always said that he would kill him whenever he set his eyes on him. Solomon will say, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. So you read the Bible too? Sometimes. Good. I believe you know the wages of sin. Death. Death. The Bible said death. It's funny. The only thing I turned my back on is confronting me right now. Oh, this old man is tired, my son, and he deserves some rest. You have been at me since last night and I have learned the folly of my ways I, I am ashamed I am ashamed to even ask you to spare my life when I never gave yours the encouragement it needed. I cannot ask you to forgive me 
because it will be an understatement. Oh, son. Oh, son. All. All I can say to you is that I am tired. Something is wrong with you somewhere. How can you expect us to spend that man? If you had agreed with me, we would have placed a call to this man's family. We could have become three million naira richer. Three million naira rich. I can't go millionaires by now. Huh? There are things far beyond money. Things like family? Yeah. Things like family. The reason that man is still breathing is because the family would like to hear his voice before they drop the door. Ogucha. Ogucha go. But you know we don't have to do it that way. For goodness sake, we've been surviving. Yes, we've been surviving, and you know how. This one is not different. What we do is risky. If I not cope risky business, Ebuka, it has always been lost against them. And this man is one of them. See, Ebuka, one them. If this man works, we will become objects for police target practice. I told you I will handle it. Okay? I will handle it. Okay, come to think of it. What if the man gives us his word that he will not involve the police? This guy not understand. That man's son is a police officer. That makes the old man a policeman. Fine. They will leave you because you are their blood. Blood is thicker than water. But let me tell you, somebody has to be the scapegoat. Ebuka, in that case, do you know who that will be? What do you think? Take care, Ebuka, man, take care. Hmm. I have told you all I know. Madam. We are not here to listen to all these things you are talking about. We are here to see your son. He is not around. He went out and I don't even know where he is. In that case, we'll call him on phone. Mm, I've been trying his number, but he wasn't going. Maybe he has a low battery. Madam, can we have his number? Why not? That's true. That's true. Uh, all right. 0803. 0803. 05 So, Philip, how is the investigation going through? Well, we're digging deep into all the leads we have. All right. You see, the investigations can go on, but I am here to let all of you know that I have concluded arrangements for us to swear. Us. You mean like myself and Philip too? Well, I'll be there though, but uh, technically the two of you will have to do the swearing. Well, I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm not going to swear to anything. Huh? Yes. yes. Os Oscar, please let's lay Uncle Smith's givens to rest. <laughs> Listen, I am not going to the village to swear to nothing. Don't you understand? Be Oscar, don't drag this into something else. Why won't you swear? Eh? Mom, I am not going to swear to nothing. This is the same thing you believe when that man of God said what he told you. If we have if we may swear because this whole thing is getting into the deepest. This is I'm this. not going to swear to anything. Period. How can you so confused? Look, if you guys want to go swear, you guys swear, but you guys can't tell for this. Please. Swear to what? Desperate 
things are done in desperate times. I want to remind you people that the unity of this family means more to me than anything else in this world. Everything that I've done, I did it in good faith. Please, my children, we've been through a lot in a very short period in this family. I want this trying period to bond us together better than ever. Let all transgressions be forgiven so that we can move ahead as one family. Oh, 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 oh. Can somebody wake me up from this nightmare? Nightmare. Because everywhere I stand, I see my past talking me. Oh, oh, I can't go you. on no more. Oh, oh, oh. I, I try oh, to oh, run oh, away oh, from oh, my oh, shadow. Oh. What a fool I was. Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey. I. I want you to tell your wife you're okay. Tell her to get the ransom of three million naira ready and wait for my instructions. Most importantly, tell her not to inform your police son. You have to stop. Was paid the ransom of three million naira. It's like a debt. Yeah, we we'll Fine and good. And after the ransom, what happens? Do I have to spell it out for you? Now you have to be very, very careful with these things. If you don't want to eat this money and spend the rest of our miserable lives behind bars, guy. Pasa. what I was trying to do. No, no. He was just trying to tell them to bring money. Isn't that what the game is all about? It all work where you go. It's all about cash. It is. But if we are going to do it your way, that means you have to increase the money. Now you're talking, Nebuka. Increase the ransom. Listen, that man wants over 3 million naira, okay? So I'm thinking, Let's make it 10 mil. They will pay. Mane, this is good. Mane, this is good. What do you care? Mm, because now that they are certain he's alive, the anxiety, tension, and desire to see him again will make them do whatever we say. Hmm? Hey, Buka, now you are talking like the thing that I used to know. One minute, with half of 10 million naira, I will do a whole lot of things. <laughs> you like money? I'll join you soon, man. Let go to my 10 million naira. 10, 10, 10 million, 10 million. Okay, woman. One minute. 
Anda juga gini. I still haven't seen him. Oscar. Uh, it's all right, darling. No, we'll deal with that later. Huh? Oscar. Time. Uh, all right, I'll see you soon. Yes, dear. Okay, let's go. <coughs> yeah, I was just um, telling my wife Whoa. that we should actually. Let's go. Edmond provided us with the logistics for all the crimes we committed. So what actually happened to him at the scene of the crime? I shot him myself. I don't even know why. Hmm. But I couldn't have watched him shoot your father. Yeah. Our father. You were at my hospital? I was there. So, what happened? I had to run immediately I saw Edmond there. Because it was more than coincidence for him to be there. After a few hours, a deal he sent us was bad and took the life of one of us. I was shocked and surprised seeing him there. Well, that's all in the past now. Eboka here saved my life. Oh yes, he saved my life. And I gave him my word that he will get a free passage to anywhere in the world so that he can start a new life. Father, what you're asking me to do is against everything my profession stands for. Son, I am not appealing to your profession. I am appealing to your sentiment. 
my men are out there searching for him. And they will definitely get hold of him someday. I cannot stand and watch him face the wrath of the law while Ibuka goes scot free. Son. son, he is my son too. I have denied him all his life, and yet he spared me. Look, do me this favor, and I shall be indebted to you for life. Father, if we catch him, he will definitely mention Ibuka's name. And your name will be linked to the whole thing. Uh, let me handle that. Oh, father. Son. From a father to a son. I am appealing to you concerning a matter of life and death. Would you deny me? Day by day, step by step, it seems my world is giving in. Slow Would you? and slow, but for sure, I know the world is turning on me. And I don't know, stay. Can somebody wake me up from this nightmare? Nightmare. Cause everywhere I stay, I see my past talking me. Oh, I can't go on no more. Would you? Oh, oh, oh. Uh. I really, really apologize for the way I treated you. What I did was wrong. My pride and ego blinded me from the fact that I was hurting all the people around me. I have since forgiven you, so I could move on with my life. I only wanted you to be of help to your son. Unfortunately, he is gone to where I don't know. And he didn't even say goodbye. Ebuka saved my life. Huh? You met him? Yeah, he was uh, a member of the gang that kidnapped me. Oh. I didn't mean for my son to be an robber or a kidnapper. I didn't. Well, I want to send him abroad so that he can start a new life. Please, where is he now? Oh, he's with me. Actually, I was uh, I was thinking of inviting you to the house. But then I had a second thought that uh, it might not be a good idea at the moment. So, what say you to my sending him abroad? He is your son. He will be fine wherever you send him to. All the same, thank you very much. My dear. I'm so glad that with the help of God we've been able to resolve this whole issue. So make it up to you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. This is a decision that could cost me the love of my family. But I have to do it because it's a duty. I have briefed you on how you're supposed to go about everything. Do it with precision. Make sure you give his photographs to all the officers around and carry out the arrests in the airport. Understood, sir. What about the other guy called uh, the boy? Has he been arrested? We are hot on his heels, sir. I am not asking if you are hot on his heels or not. Well, put everything we have in use to make sure you are, get him arrested. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Oh, well, the man was right. It was indeed one of father's sons who was holding him hostage. Yeah. And who could have thought that was my cousin? So, how is he doing? Oh, he's fine. He's okay. What happens to him after everything? Father insists on sending him abroad. 
abroad? Yes. <sighs> Did Philip agree to that? And Philip has no choice. He can't afford to disappoint father now. <sighs> That's serious.
Um, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, please, we want to go to the side of the car. Well, what for? No, I'm not searching. Do you know who I am? Sir, we just want to search this car. Philip! Rabuka! Rabuka! Please don't, please don't do this, please. Don't do this. More, dear boy. Do you betrayed me. Do he dies. Please. He dies. He dies. Stop, guy. He dies. He dies. Don't do this. Don't do this. My heart is breaking and my mind is sinking I don't understand why we are fighting now But we're supposed to be family, yeah This is not about who's wrong or right Let's unite and make the future bright We can build a better world Cause I see it, you so do they You will reap tomorrow, yeah just can't avoid it. Mm. Oh, no. Let's try and build a better home oh. so we all can be safe tomorrow. You cannot avoid it. Oh, let us learn. Let us learn. So we all need each other. We can be a family. Love and live in unity. Let's unite. Hey. We can build a bridges, we can break our fences oh, Father, Father, Brother, Brother, we all need each other We all need another Mother, Mother, Mother now, Sister, Sister We all need each other, let us live as one White be white and your black be black Doesn't matter who is wrong or right now We can live together forever now Let us learn, let us learn. We all need each other We can be a family Let's unite We all need each other Right, no matter who's wrong, let's put behind all the things behind us so we can be tomorrow. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. We can be a better tomorrow now. Be a family. Mm -hmm. Let us learn. 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 Let us learn.